Just about everybody has weighed in on President Bush's address this past week. Time to hear now from our contributor, Ben Stein. After the State of the Union speech a few days ago, a muttering chorus of media nabobs told us endlessly that Bush was irrelevant, a loser, out of touch, even pitiful. The president's speech was, was polite, uninspiring. The policy debate has sort of passed him by. And I think he's going to have a very rough couple of years here, Charlie, if anyone's paying attention to him. NPR actually had Merle Haggard, that Okie from Muskogee, claim that the state of the nation had never been worse. And suddenly it hit me. The media are staging a coup against Mr. Bush, just the way they did against LBJ and Nixon and tried to do against Reagan. They can't impeach Bush because only Congress can do that. But the media are doing what they can to basically oust Mr. Bush while still leaving him lifting weights in the White House. Look, Merle Haggard is a great singer, but the truth is that we're in a huge economic boom. We're coming off a big real estate explosion that put the most Americans in history in their own homes. We have full employment. Real wages are rising. The nation is wealthier than it's ever been, although this is very unevenly distributed. Most important of all, there has not been one major or even minor successful terrorist incident against the U.S. homeland in over five years. Bush didn't do that by himself, but he had something to do with it. True, we're mired in a war without end, costing us far too many great young and old Americans and too many limbs and wrecked families and too much money. But we all know we're getting out soon. It was a huge mistake. But I'd like to see a president who didn't make immense mistakes. What about Vietnam? What about Korea? Let's be honest. Let's admit that Bush has presided over a lot of success in addition to some serious failures. But no one elected the media to anything. Let's see it for what it is. Mr. Bush is the only president we have, and with all his faults, I trust him a lot more than I trust the unelected princes and princesses of the newsroom.